Peace be with you everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Trevor, really grateful to have you here. And today's video I'm bringing you a top 10 list of some fragrances I would recommend to carry you throughout the transitional period from the end of summer into the autumn. So this is, uh, you know, right at the end of September there is the official end date of summer. So these days where you wake up in the morning and it's brisk, cold, uh, you really are aching for that cup of coffee to warm your soul because it's dropped down about 30 degrees from what it's been averaging in the summer. And, you know, by the afternoon you're ready to put on a pair of shorts even though you started the morning with a sweater. So. Uh, that type of weather is what the theme of the list is going to be centered around and I'm going to start this list off in no particular order here with perhaps the most hidden gem on this list and it's going to be Fig Confit from the House of Therapia by Aroma. Uh, so this is a indie house, they are out of Miami, Florida and the perfumer was trained in Grass, France. What you get with this fragrance in particular and by the way $30 for 100 ml and the quality is through the roof. I like to compare them to imaginary authors in terms of quality. Uh, now this fragrance though is a perfect blend of basically uh, Un Jardin and Mediterranean from Hermes and By the Fireplace from uh, Martin Margiela. So this opens up with that very watery kind of dewy green woody fig elements that you get out of the uh, Un Jardin and Mediterranean and then it dries down into this very sweetened nice sort of woody smoky vanillic gourmand almost fragrance so fig confit candied fig it has it in parentheses here is what it is named and it executes very well on that um, Un Jardin and Mediterranean from Hermes is one of my favorite fig fragrances. Uh, I wish it lasted a little bit longer, but this, um, I wouldn't say solves that problem entirely, uh, but because the fig element of this fragrance uh, shows up and then dies down after about one to three hours, depending. But you get that really nice gourmandy by the fireplace style sweetness, uh, woody, vanillic, smoky quality throughout. The, continuance of the wearing which is a, like an all-day 10-hour fragrance on my skin at least uh, so it's fig confit for the first fragrance on this list transitioning from the end of summer into fall uh, next up we have a recent addition to the collection and a new favorite of mine and that is Junoon Oud so this is an Al Haramein clone of Bulgari's Tigar I believe these are going for right around the $50 mark on Joma shop right now they come in 75 ml bottles um, but yeah, it's just more of a woody take on Bulgari's Tigar. I've not smelled Tigar, but I've I own Black Panther, Black Panther from Alexandria Fragrances, and I also own um, or I've sampled Suspiro's Vibrato. Uh, for me, both of those fragrances lend a little bit towards like an orange juice style accord, like a very um, yeah, just like an orange juice. Uh, scent profile in some sense where this the woodiness in here uh, kind of reduces that orange juice quality and makes it more uh, full-bodied and rich and sweet and uh, more woody than um, juicy I would say for here I, I really enjoy how it kind of makes the scent profile a little bit more grown up and um, more it has a little bit more dimension to it for me um, the quality, uh, you could definitely tell that the ingredients in Vibrato are um, a little bit more, there's more vibrance in that fragrance uh, than in this, like I feel like th this would be like the saturation on the picture was turned down a little bit, but the overall scent profile is great, I get compliments with this one, it lasts a long time and the sillage is uh, good enough that people are smelling it and compliment me on it, so uh, like I said, a recent favorite of mine, this is Janoon Oud from Al Haramein. Um, really great, uh, that woodiness also just adds to that more autumnal kind of um, essence or you know the, the spirit of autumn with that more rich dense woody quality. Okay uh, moving on we have L'Instant de Guerlain Eau de Toilette from Guerlain. It is a beautiful citrus over the top of like a sawdust with a nice powdery chocolate added in there. So yeah like Nesquik uh, sawdust and uh, a beautiful fresh zesty lemon. 
very dry fragrance, uh, very subtle, very kind of like wallflowerish, inoffensive, perfect for the office, and great. Uh, I think this fragrance out of everything in this list captures the essence of this transitional period from the end of summer into the beginning of autumn more so than any other fragrance. It just uh, the the colors that it evokes, like with the lemon and the chocolate, just the browns and the golden hues, and the sort of uh, dry quality that this has that the autumn shares with it. Just an excellent, excellent fragrance. And I think these are coming back down in price. I think I've seen these for going right around the $50 mark. Um, I made that might have been a tester without the cap. I don't know, but uh, this is well worth, you know. Anything under 100 bucks is going to be good for a 100 ml of Linsan to Guerlain Eau de Toilette. Um, so moving on, another fragrance that has uh, really nice citruses with some more kind of powdery aspects to it as well. This is going to be Kenzo's Jungle. Uh, perfumer was Olivier Cresp on this one. Very nice, beautiful sparkly lime. So this is mostly like a lime, fizzy lime, but then you get this really nice uh, like nutmeg and cinnamon and almost like a uh, grandma's spice cupboard sort of dry, dusty, cooking culinary spice, but with this beautiful zesty lime uh, that just freshens it up and like adds enough contrast to build it out into a full bodied fragrance. Just excellent, excellent stuff right here um, that from Cresp. Uh, and I think this one is still, if you get it from, I think Forever Lux might be selling it for under $40 right now. Check out their eBay page. Uh, look for this one there. That was the best price I've seen recently. That's Kenzo Jungle, really nice sparkly lime and uh, sweet autumnal spice. Classic Terre d'Hermes Eau de Toilette, uh, kind of like a dirty earthy orange. Um, yeah, just like a dirty earthy orange smell. Uh, the, the dirty earth is something that is going to be off putting for some people, especially if you're new to the hobby. But overall, it opens up as it develops on your skin into this really nice powdery woodiness with that fresh orange essence. It actually gets quite, um, I don't want to say sweet, but it has this very um, warm, inviting, and um, just elegance and softness about it. Um, just a very, very elegant and classy classic. This is uh, Terre d'Hermes Eau de Toilette. Excellent, excellent stuff. That earth, that earthy quality lends itself to the autumn, whereas like the orange bright and um, you know airy quality about this also lends itself towards the summertime. So perfect transitional fragrance and it evokes a perfect golden orange hue that you would get in this time of the year. I kind of what I have going on behind me um, with the scent profile that this offers. Okay, uh, moving on, we've got one from Chanel. This is Pour Monsieur Eau de Parfum. Uh, so this one, I, I kind of felt it was a little bit too sweet at first when I first got it. I got it in the springtime. Um, I felt that may have been a premature assessment just because I think my palate was a little bit tired of sweetness coming out of the winter. Um, but now as we're getting ready to head into the fall and I'm getting tired of the citrus aquatic kind of notes, uh, the sweetness in here is a really nice, uh, smooth, creamy lavender. Very, uh, this is the only barbershop style fragrance I would say really in this list. There's one other nice kind of soapy fragrance here, but this one is the definitive barbershop in here. And what I really like about this one is that the the lemon in here is so pronounced. It might be like one of the most pronounced uh, citrus, bright, sparkly notes in a barbershop fragrance in my collection. I think maybe like Aqua de Parma, Colonia uh, comes kind of close, but this is like vanilla lavender and lemon and it just is uh, excellent superb a little bit sweet for my personal taste but uh you know the lemon does offset it very well to the point where i'm comfortable wearing this in the high heat but it is perfect for this uh, time of the year transitioning into the autumn out of the summer check this one out uh, really glad that i do own this one and um, i highly recommend it for this time of the year this is uh, Chanel Pour Monsieur Eau de Parfum. Okay, um, next. Uh, one that is something I've been reaching for probably more so than any other fragrance this month of August. This is Tom Ford's Costa Azura Parfum. Uh, really nice blue-green fragrance. Very woody cypress and oak. And then a sort of nice marine um, citrusy expression as well. I kind of, uh, I like to think of it as like the oak trees 
and their lumber soaked in the air, like the salty air of an ocean sea breeze, in soaked into the wood that is in the cypress and the oak in here. Um, in, in a certain way, it's like a more grown up version of Aqua di Gio uh, Profumo. It has that darkness to it, that aromatic quality, and the, like a little bit more of a woodiness, but it's a little bit more polished and grown up, and it smells like fresh printed money in some sense. Like there's this, this very clean, crisp, sterile, um, but smooth quality about it. Uh, very upscale, classy, and a little bit mature, to be honest, but uh, something that I've grown to absolutely adore. Perfect signature scent, perfect office wear. Um, uh, great stuff for the summer, but also great, great for transitioning into the autumn. This is Tom Ford's Costa Azura Parfum. Okay, uh, nice little cheapie here. This is Ra'ed Silver. Uh, so this is a Latafa fragrance, I believe. And what I get with this fragrance is kind of like a um, Cedrat Boise, but the Honestly, this is more well blended than Cedrat Boise, but I, I wouldn't say it's more mass appealing or anything. I think Cedrat Boise is going to get more attention. Uh, but with both the original and the intense version of that fragrance, I feel like there's a, um, a big dichotomy between the like uh, fruity aspects of it and then the musky aspects of it. Whereas in here, it's like a well blended version of that. Um, leather and wood and fruitiness, but uh, with Cedra Boise, I get more of like a pineapple expression of the citruses in there, whereas this I get more of like a red berries and cream almost. Um, and so that kind of like a little bit more um, uh, fruity sweetness versus citric sweetness lends itself to be more autumnal for me than. Uh, the uh, either the Cedrat Boise or its intense flanker. So this is what I would pick for transitioning from the summer into the fall and uh, early parts of the fall. So uh, yeah, like a kind of like a red berries and cream with some leather and woods. Really uh, excellent stuff, uh, good longevity, cheap. I think you can get this for like under $20. So this is raw ed silver from Latafa. Okay, I um, think we've got maybe two left on the list. Next up we have uh, Cartier Lenval Eau de Toilette. So this is like nice, clean, soapy musk with honey is what you get here. Uh, mediocre longevity, I get maybe like uh, three to six hours. So I wouldn't say mediocre, but like uh, medium level longevity. But this is a great brunch fragrance, a great, um, you know, uh, wedding fragrance. Just it's, it's very classy and upscale, but that honey note it makes it very unique and uh, outstanding and just something that is perfect for that early part of the autumn. I think September is harvest season for honey, uh, so this kind of articulates that essence of that month very well. Um, very clean and soapy and elegant and like office friendly, inoffensive, but also sweet and inviting. Um, so that's Cartier Linval Eau de Toilette. And finally, the last fragrance on this list is going to be Versace Eros Flame. Uh, also pretty affordable. I think you can find these 100 ml for right around $50 at the moment. Uh, what you get here though is a very nice aromatic citrus, uh, I think like lemon, vanilla, black pepper, rosemary are going to be the four main notes in here. So like a very nice, um, very loud aromatic um, rosemary and black pepper and lemon and like a sweetness from a vanilla and then geranium also so the original Versace Eros has a mint in there that makes it uh, very kind of like this cooling sensation uh, and it mixes with the vanilla and that's its signature like mint vanilla uh, this uses geranium which is also a very like minty cooling kind of uh, note but it's got a little bit more of a floral nuance I would say um, and they use that in here instead of mint, so you've got that going on as well, but it keeps to that Versace Aero CNA, just it's a little bit more aromatic and peppery. Um, beautiful stuff, and that little bit more peppery side makes it spicy for the autumn and the, for the cool weather, and this is going to be a great one uh, for its namesake for like bonfires here at the end of summertime as well. So check this one out if you haven't already. I think it's getting discontinued, definitely worth picking up. That's Versace Eros Flame, and that is the end of this top 10 list. Recommended fragrances for transitioning out of the summer into the fall. I really appreciate you sticking with me to the end of the video. Let me know if you have any recommendations for this category in the comment section down below. And as always, I appreciate you. Take care.